Hello, I'm Terry McCann, and right now I'm going to tell you about a weakness that I consider very common in ISO 9001 training. First of all, though, let me make this disclaimer. I call it a common weakness, but in all honesty, I have no evidence of this other than anecdotal from my own experience over the years and from my talking to other people who have had training in ISO and other quality and compliance standards. So what is this weakness of which I speak? It is to focus inordinately on the letter of the requirements of the standard to the detriment of the spirit behind the standard and its requirements. Right up front, let me hasten to say that this is not just a fault of trainers. Many, if not most people, doing a training course in a standard such as ISO 9001-2015 have a blind spot for anything other than learning the minimum requirements for conformity or compliance. This defective vision often afflicts people with longer service who have been there, done that, and convey the sense that there will now be some kind of new burden of bureaucracy that we will all now need to add to our workload. On the part of trainers, there is the temptation to have a quick introduction looking at the process approach, maybe even looking at the benefits of certification, but begin the real training with the first shell clause of ISO 9001-2015 Clause 4.1, understanding the organization and its context. Often, the benefits presented focus mainly on marketing and sales. Even if there is good coverage of what I call the spirit of the standard in the training's introduction, it usually gets lost thereafter in the weeds of the requirements from Clause 4 onwards. The spirit of the ISO 9001-2015 International Standard is articulated right at the very beginning in Clause 0 0.1 General. The adoption of a quality management system is a strategic decision for an organization that can help to improve its overall performance and provide a sound basis for sustainable development initiatives. In fact, let me read that again. The adoption of a quality management system, a QMS, is a strategic decision for an organization that can help to improve its overall performance and provide a sound basis for sustainable development initiatives. Note that it says nothing about marketing and sales. If marketing and sales are the driving motivation for ISO 9001 certification and not organizational excellence through improving performance, then the organization is in for a rough ride culturally. That certificate on the wall will not be worth the paper it is printed on. The organization's website claim to ISO 9001 2015 certification will be another road sign to customer disappointment and employee frustration. Remember, culture eats strategy for breakfast, the famous saying questionably attributed to Peter Drucker. I was fortunate to have to work with an engineering manager who frustrated me no end by asking me, what is the value add of this or that new process or document or quality initiative that I would come to him with. Over time, I learned to appreciate his challenges to me. He forced me to make my quality initiatives as minimally bureaucratic as possible while ensuring that there was indeed value added for the company. He would ask, who are we doing this for? Are we doing this for the business and our clients? or for the auditors. Frustrating at the time, but he inadvertently helped me get past the letter to the spirit of the requirement. Interestingly, if you all make the spirit of the requirement your priority, it becomes easier 
to find ways that are practical and feasible to meet the letter of the requirement through cooperation. In short, as you write your quality manual, standard operating procedures and work instructions to implement the shell clauses of the ISO 9001 standard or whatever standard it is, ask yourselves as a team, how can we implement this in such a way as to achieve organizational excellence through continually improving performance? Remember, your QMS, as documented in your quality manual, is there primarily for the members of the organization, not the auditors. It should be easy to use as a training document. If it is not, then who was it written for? I'm Terry McCann. My company is TCMC Quality Management Services. If you have any questions or concerns about ISO 9001, I would love to hear from you. Go to the Contact Us page on my website or send an email to terry.mccann at tcmc-qms.ca terry.mccann at tcmc-qms.ca